Well, well, well. Hello, everyone. Go going here and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. We're right here where we left it. Actually, in this episode, uh, we're going to go a little bit bananas, if you know what I mean. We're going to start increasing our capacity here, our housing capacity. That way we can actually kind of rush to tier three. I definitely want to rush it. Obviously, we will need to do a couple stuff uh, in the meantime, right? But I'm going to add a house here. Probably going to leave these squares just for desirability because desirability right now is here uh, eight. I'm going to wait for this uh, statue, this shrine that we're building here just to see how much it pumps it. Now, one thing we need to analyze is where do we want to go from here, right? I'm really waiting for us to be able to have the barn in order to start expanding this way. Because once we expand this way, obviously the deer is not going to be here anymore. And we're going to lose uh, basically the, the meat production right now, right? So I really don't want to do that uh, right now until we have the barn. Now, one thing that we definitely need to start doing is pro start producing some of the raw resources. We need to start having a gold mine. We need to start having an iron mine and whatnot. Right now, we have 15 people, which is, I believe, it's it's a good amount. It's not super good, but it's, you know, it's decent. So we can definitely start playing with it. I mean, we can actually start here and then do some here as well if we want to. Uh, this is actually iron. This is coal. So I'm going to actually start exploding this coal. Looks like we have 684. Uh, what, what, what about we start with iron? So let's take a look at the iron. So we have 224, 44 there. Uh, over here we have, yeah, we have quite a lot in this area. So I'm going to place it kind of like here in the middle. And I believe we can actually move it back and forth as we need. Now, one thing I see here, I don't know if you notice, the deer is no longer here. We might have pushed the deer away from this area. I don't know if they're going to come back ever. If they don't come back, then we're going to need to remove this guy out of here. So let's going to place this iron mine over here. And the other one is going to be the coal mine. Now, we are looking for the black overlay, which I don't see anywhere around this mountain. So it looks like the only coal that we have is around here. So I'm going to place it here. Uh, that's a little bit tricky and a little bit scary. I really don't want to place it too close to these guys. Otherwise, we're going to, you know, we're going to be having a problem here with them, as I said early in the game. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and place it here. I believe here might not be a bad spot next to the sand a bit, which is already almost there, right? It's uh, 153 sand left, which is, which has, I mean, could be a little bit too low, but we'll, Fortunately, we have other sand pits around this area as well if we absolutely need some sand. All right, so the other one is going to be the gold ore. Now, the, the, the only problem about the gold ore is that, <laughs> you know, right? It's way up here and this is all too steep. I mean, I don't know if we can actually place this guy over here and then <laughs> have them go all the way up there and farm it over here. I don't think we have any more gold ore around here, do we? Let's take a quick glance at everything. Obviously, this is the best way to do it. Yeah, we have it. It's kind of like far away still. Hmm. Yeah, anything around here? I mean, we can send our people to scout. I mean, this guy who's doing any nothing right now. There's nothing to hunt. Why don't you... Hunting? Why are you hunting? There's nothing to hunt. Why don't you go up into the darkness there? Into the dark and see what's going on there. But in the meantime... We're going to be doing this guy and the other guy. Now, they should be storing everything here in the main warehouse for now, right? The raw resources. I believe they store it here, although I don't see them. I don't see the indi the icon. So I wonder if, if it's not here, then if it's in the, where is it? The stockyard, right? I know we built a second one. There it is. Uh, yes, it looks like it's here. Where? Oh, I don't know what they it moves like that. I thought we have a I had a second one of these. If this gets too full, then obviously we 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 be building a second one. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is. So the coal mine over here, the iron mine over there. Now, what else do we need in order for preparate for us to prepare for tier three? We definitely need to start producing if we haven't already. I believe we're ready producing 
pottery. Yeah, there it is. The pottery, right? Yeah, we're already producing pottery. This is basically... I don't know why it keeps moving that way. I think that's a bug or something. Uh, because we, look at this. The homestead. We're going to need candle and pottery, which we already have. But we're going to need three type uh, food types. Already 65% desirability. That's only done by placing good buildings around it. But the three type of food... Where, what are going to be those? I'm assuming that's going to be... Let's take a look. Uh, I'm... I'm assuming this actually belongs to the berries department, fruit department, smoke meat, and the bread. That would be three. I don't know. Right now it says that it has two. So a br bread here will be will count as a third one. Now, one thing I definitely want to do is build an, an, a, a second market because I don't know if this market is able to. Yeah, it's I don't think it's providing everybody with, with what they need right now. Maybe. I don't know if one person is not is not uh, capable enough to do the job for everybody. So if we try to expand this way, then a market around this area, maybe here, might not be a bad option. Now, remember that we are going to be expanding this field somewhere, right? Either to the right or to the fr to north or uh, basically don't, op you know, expand it and then build another one i think if we decide to build another one instead of expanding it i'm probably gonna build it over here which is very fertile but for now i'm gonna keep it as is uh, this one is already good to go for what it seems like uh, then we're gonna be producing way much more uh, grain which is our intention here you know, it looks like the sand was finally added into the soil or maybe the addition actually balanced it out i really don't know if what was the case there but the good thing is that they are actually really good. Okay, they're actually working as intended. All right, that was a little bit of talking there. I'm, what I'm going to do is going to try to fill up some jobs here and there as well. See what we're missing. I mean, we can obviously add many people everywhere. But do we, do we want to? That's the question. Do we want to start adding people into other jobs? Kind of like the, ba the baker. Not the baker, but the basket shop. Let's take a look at our shops here. So the the pottery, I think two people is more than enough. We don't need more than that. The weaver building. A third one might not be a bad option here, to be honest. I'm going to add a third one here. And let's take a look to our flags. So, yeah, we have we have a good amount of flags. It's not like we have, wow, huge amounts. But, but it's a good amount of uh, flags. And then we're going to be producing even more flags. Now, with this expansion, we're going to be producing, uh, what is it, uh, 1330. I believe we already produced it. It says, like, it was already harvested, but obviously, we're going to be producing it here, too. So, actually, the fertility here went up a little bit. So, what we need to do is remove this guy and add flax here. Exactly what we have it here, but on the other side. All right. So, yeah, some food, you know, being spoiled right now, going bad. Obviously, we have almost 2,000 meat smoked meat which is you know which is really nice uh so the apiary we already have the apiary let's take a look are we producing all the yeah i think we're producing all the quote-unquote luxury right all we need to add is uh, we already have a soap shop but the thing about this soap shop i mean do we want to add another candle we already looked into this last episode we don't have enough like wax to have another person we might be adding a third or a fourth, even a fifth uh, a Pierre here. You know, you never know. We'll see how it goes. But definitely one person is more than enough. This guy, I'm, I'm okay with adding an extra person, especially because we have, you know, a good amount of herbs. We don't utilize as many herbs to produce soap. Let's take a look at tallow. Tallow, we should have plenty. Yeah, we have 440, which is actually a good number. So a second person here, just going to distribute people among all of these areas all right let's take a look at this guy pelt we have 91 a third person here might not be a bad option to be honest let's take a look they use water and they use pelt and these guys we do have 70 worst case scenario we can actually sell those right which is gonna be worst case scenario but at the same time the you know a really nice scenario right because money is very crucial here especially because 
we're going to be expanding, meaning that we're going to start definitely needing. So it looks like the deer came back. We're definitely going to need to start thinking about that uh, defenses, right? So here's what happens. We have, we have, you know, some towers this way, some towers this way, this way, but the, we, we have no defenses this way. So if they decide to come this way, we don't have any anywhere to defend it. Now, my thinking is, okay, let me build a tower here, but might as well build the barracks because we're definitely going to need the barracks as soon as possible. So a barracks here might not be a bad spot. As I said in the last episode, something here. I actually liked it here defending the trading post so once we have i mean i'm pretty sure yeah we have you know the money but i really don't want to do it just yet right and look at that the shrine actually got built let's take a look at our houses here looks like they're actually at 26 percent what about this one uh 16 percent all right so we can actually pump it a little bit more just by adding some parks obviously the park here is not uh, good <laughs> size what about this one so this one is gonna pump to three so 19 a medium plaza we can actually place that plaza here in the corner i mean the middle my bad and then some gardens next to it uh rather, uh, rather a garden trail and oh, that's actually not bad it's gonna pump at three but i really want the medium garden rather the small park small shrubs small garden medium garden that is one here and one here you know the deal obviously that's gonna cost a little bit money but the good thing is that we're producing more than we're consuming right so we're producing a lot of taxes here which is nice and this is actually correlated with obviously having a lot of homestead if we take a look here we have 20 homestead we're missing four five right in order to actually move to tier three or feel that requirement fulfill that requirement for tier three obviously we're gonna need 150 people meaning that we're gonna need to add more more houses thinking here right we're gonna look be losing the eggs that's the only problem right but somewhere here might not be a bad spot for a couple houses just throw a couple houses here one here actually this is not bad a, a bad spot for a house to be honest and then a couple more here and then we can actually place a garden here as well. Okay, actually, I like that that spot here, Riverside. Uh, what, what's going on with this guy? So food type, only two. Only one, actually. We need a third one. How's that actually... So these guys are produ have, you know, producing flour, which is nice. What about the bakery? Producing bread. Let's take a look at the storage here. Do we need to add more people here? We have too many of one thing. Maybe too many of the flour, uh, but I don't think flour is never too. <laughs> there's never too much flour, right? Uh, let's go and you know add another baker. Let's take a look at our people count. We ha we're down to four. Obviously, we have five builders, so we gotta be very careful here. We don't wanna overload our people, our workforce here, because then we cannot afford it, right? All right, let's go and speed up time. I think we've covered a lot of ground here at the beginning of the episode let's take a look one thing i really want to start doing is actually start upgrading some of these roads to be honest uh and i think i'm gonna move forward with it uh mainly here that we are in in winter i'm definitely gonna start doing that mainly this road that we're you know we need def we definitely need our our wagons to to move quickly along these roads right we don't want them to slow down be what was that oh i i got i got scared for a minute what, like, what's that sound i uh, oh, accidentally click on this on the school but yeah i'm just gonna upgrade that let's see how it goes we do have the stone for it i mean quote unquote we do have the stone it's not like we have quite a lot of stone but definitely we have some stone remember we have people mining stone around the area here and here we have everybody should be mining stone as well on their free time one thing that scares me a little bit is the logs and the firewood situation here, as you may see. So we definitely need to... Let's take a look at our guy here. So we actually find, found... One more. Look at that. Some fish around here. A fish bag at a 50% increase, which is very, very nice. Let's go ahead and get this guy. I usually get use these guys to explore. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit more here. Just leave the deer there bother about them because I'm, th I'm looking for wood right i see some wood here this might be a good spot for wood cutting 
we can actually place a war camp somewhere close to this area uh, let's go ahead and see well the war camp i believe uses four people right at capacity okay so where where are they cutting okay so they're cutting here we probably just need to move them a little bit up up to, to the hill there we can get them down here too yeah let's get and get down here i see a lot of stuff here uh but then yeah definitely moving that way just to see i mean we have a lot of i mean quote unquote a lot of wood here it's not like they run through it pretty quickly but definitely need to start thinking about it because the firewood is going down the more people the more firewood we go through right all right looks like the durability is 26 <laughs> percent i wonder if having a, a a stone road rather than let's see cost uh cost are per uh, 100 meters of road length okay cobble roads are allow your builders to try faster with a bigger bonus than dirt roads i wonder if that uh increases desirability by any means i really don't know we'll just need to see that you know happening i really don't know i, I don't think so though we'll just need to experiment it i mean if we click here it says upgrade bonus mo movement speed it doesn't say anything about desirability because uh, the houses get the durability bonus when they are built next to a road. And the new trade is here. I'm going to slow down time here while we take a look. A Scurf the Butcher and his bag. How you doing, Scurf? Thank you for swinging by. You're not selling anything that I like. I could buy some of your medicine. That's not a bad price. But, I mean, you're not buying... Oh, look at that. The tools. Guys, we're downing tools. So we definitely need to start buying those as soon as possible. I mean, we could sell him some some linen clothes, but I really don't want to do so. I'm just going to let it pass. Let's see. Yeah, where people are not, none of them are, are, are well-dressed. I mean, although it says it here, we're talking about an 88%. Same with the shoes. Now, I don't know if the infants, obviously infants and child, they might not use any pair of shoes or clothes. And I don't know if that's actually counting it here. Yeah, try producing more leather coat and linen clothing. Oh, well. But yeah, you definitely need to buy tools in the next in the next trip. Whoever sells the tools will just buy buy them from them. All right, so we're going to pump this fertility a little bit here. And then we're going to go straight into the rye, which is actually our goal here. Now, we can actually add another person here. Let's take a look at our flower situation. Oh, well, we had some. <laughs> it was just probably brought in here or produced into flour or, or milled down into flour, grind down into flour. So, yeah, if we if we need to, we'll, we can add someone there. But I don't think we absolutely need to do that right now. So these guys, actually, we cannot move them. I guess they what they do is just gather whatever is close to them, I would assume. That's that's the case here. But I definitely want to let's see. Two okay, so actually this guy just need the f the f the f oh, no. <laughs> this guy needs the food the desirability and this guy needs the food, right? 21 raiders sighted. I think this is the biggest I've ever gotten in this game. This actually might be a massacre. Uh, that's why we needed the barracks for sure. Oh wow, this is actually super bad. Where is our tower? So our tower is over here. Let's gonna bring down our people down here. I mean, we can call our people in, but I don't really think we absolutely can bring the people in. Otherwise, they're gonna rob the hell out of us. All right, so somebody died already. Let's gonna stir. Start. Let's gonna start. Or let's gonna collect everyone here. I'm gonna go down here real quick. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to collect everyone in the town over here. All right. Let's go and ambush these guys right away. All right. Let's get a speedo time here a little bit. Let's go and attack these guys. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we are 128, right? We're 128. So let's see who can. <laughs> this is a war, guy. This is a war. We're fighting. We're, we're going to war and we're losing by the dot. Wow, we're losing a lot of people by this. Wow, 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 wow. Insane. This is actually the first time I get attacked by that these many raiders. And probably a lot of them are 
fleeing away with uh, stuff i mean we're 110 people down wow it's just incredible never had this happen that's why i need i wanted to rush the barracks all right let's let's don't don't let this guy leave there you go i don't worry about them so 13 villagers slain wow this is insane this is something i've never seen in this game at least i've never experienced it myself and this is brutal i know whoa <laughs> 21 raiders oh whoa, 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 whoa they're coming back they're coming back oh no what is this what is this uh oh no this is actually people everybody start helping these guys on the floor star oof this is a bad day today wow 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 yeah bunch of bunch of builders have stopped i stopped working obviously yeah we definitely need that barracks hmm in the meantime no traders came in right wow we were just slaughtered we lost about what 13 15 people or something like that we were completely slaughtered guys well it's a sad day for us i didn't actually expect it to to be 21 of them right last time i actually played this game we were attacked by uh, like the maximum 11 and it was about this you know stage of the game 21 i didn't see it coming i wonder how many people we have to have in these towers i mean obviously we have guards in uh, maybe we can add another one here obviously but but the guards i don't i don't see the guards having like a too much of an impact because if we having two guards here two guards here right two guards here so we're talking about six guards against 21 raiders so what are we supposed to do here in this case are we supposed to use the villagers as we just like we did just did i don't think villagers do i mean do a really good job you saw us there fighting 60 70 people against 21 they just slaughtered us obviously we quote unquote won the ball the battle i don't think it was as effective as, as i thought it was so look at this race as 21 raiders killed 12 and we were i mean 14 of our villagers were killed so we actually got killed more than we killed so i don't think that's actually a nice thing right speaking of nice things i really like the price of that tools i'm gonna buy 10 from you i tell you what i'm gonna sell some of these parts i'm gonna sell all of them as a matter of fact why don't we transfer 150 pottery all over here you know we're gonna be transferring up to 150 that i'm fine with it same with no soap no i don't want to sell any soap so we're just gonna transfer whatever we have in stock over here and then we're gonna buy that we're gonna sell that and we're gonna buy more tools with it i don't think we need anything else i mean we could buy some of these things but look at the price right she knows right at cat of the iron clan she knows we're actually just came out of a war and then you know she's pumping the price so i know i know i know what they're doing i know i know how they work they think uh we we don't know but we do know they're taking advantage of our misery here that's fine all right so yeah so th how are we gonna how are we gonna counterpart this massacre definitely building the yeah definitely building the 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 barracks and i hope i'm trying to see if we're actually going to be able to transport all the need all the goods i'm going to start by selling them as we go here because so let's go and transfer well i'm not going to transfer the goods yet because i really want to place the barracks down i'm going to place it down here it, it seems like it's too steep now with the barracks the, the reason why i say we have to put down the barracks is because obviously that's going to produce up to 12 guards and the guards are going to be well equipped to fight in battle right now they're not going to be well equipped if you know what i mean because we don't have a way to produce those resources i mean we I don't have we don't have a way to produce swords we don't have a way to produce a, a shields or any of the of the things that they do require to for that but but at least we're we can we can say that we have guards right <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and plant in this area whenever they're free whenever they have time i'm very very down i'm very sad 
and she's gone we didn't transfer the goods in a timely manner yeah we're probably like downing and many people look at that yeah wow 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 we just need one one batch of like 19 20 immigrants or something like that 20 25 immigrants and i'll be happy at least 10 right 12 we lost how many people looks like five and uh what does that no 14 was a total of that we lost right 14 villages were killed although some of them were injured and they actually recover oh there's no one here wow uh let's see and we don't have enough educated people to work there i believe yeah it's a it's a it's a sad day for 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 us but it's it happens right it is what it is that's part of the game it's a brutal hardcore game now are we is this the point where we start over i don't think so i think this uh, this is actually a uh, very recoverable we just need to be patient so we're gonna speed up time here now this is gonna set us back a little bit right instead of like rushing tier three now we just have to come back and think about it like what are we gonna do now right how are we gonna recover from this massacre right now the the best way is to wait right the best way is literally to wait for more people to come in to start start filling up this job we can actually prioritize some of these jobs right so we can actually reduce this to one we don't need that many baskets and then add someone here right for example in the hunter's lodge we definitely need someone here right and it looks like we have another hunter's lodge that's actually empty so let's see who can be for example weaver we can just reduce that to two and then bring them here right we just give it priority right uh what else here fletcher building definitely need someone here uh this is actually that's the guy that's actually producing the only weapons that we have to that we have you know to defend ourselves these guys i'm going to reduce it to two to one actually i don't really mind it the soppy the firewood i think we have good amount right now i'm just gonna you know slow it down there no this is actually the soppy this is the plank we need a little bit of plank but it's not urgent so this guy we can actually get someone here just to get rid of that uh, little thing there that's actually so we have seven guards you see a uh, soldiers that's what the barracks are going to produce soldiers assuming they're gonna be better trained better equipped and whatnot two on the work camp that's actually very very important but it looks like people are you know getting born uh, but i definitely want immigrants i definitely want immigrants coming in as soon as possible all right time for us to build the barracks I believe the barracks are very very needed very very important and obviously the game is gonna play against us here and it's not gonna let us build the barracks because the slope is too steep uh, let's see this one thing I, I i i have hard time flattening the terrain in this game this is not on the way is it slope too steep hmm. i mean we can place it here to be honest but i don't think that's a really nice spot or maybe here i really want this spot to be it to be honest I think it covers a lot of ground tell you what let's go ahead and flatten this terrain however we need to flatten it uh let's see if we do this that's gonna flatten it here a little bit so let's gonna do one here and i don't think we need to do anything else unless we have some things that need to be flattened inside that i don't see tell you what you guys are gonna come down here and gonna cut all the trees here i don't care about the deer anymore if the deer wants to run away they're welcome to do so <laughs> i really need to see what's going on in this area it's gonna speed up time but anyways you know we learned we learned quite a lot with that fight we learned that the next attack is gonna have like 40 or 50 raiders so we better rush it right we better start accumulating money the good thing is that we're producing 21 gold bars and we have the 23 out of 25 humps that which you know there's happiness in every sadness right there is a uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel we just need to be a little bit more patient keep driving keep driving and then we'll encounter it right so look at the road roads looking beautiful 
obviously we're not going to upgrade all of them mainly because our workforce is actually being being uh moved completely or being used in the road so is that enough it is not still too steep i wonder where is that uh i mean obviously it's steep here but it shouldn't be steep here though must be something here in the middle that i'm not seeing uh maybe here but i don't really want to do anything here maybe here because sometimes it can it can go badly maybe here something like that might help it i think so i just want the trees to go away that way i can see the terrain all right anyways let's see what else that we need to take care of the farm is looking beautifully right this is looking phenomenal there's nothing to worry about the farm yet right we have a granary looks like we're probably gonna need to pump uh, have a second granary uh obviously it's idle we want the rat catcher to be idle we don't we don't mind it being idle definitely we're gonna need another person here most likely and then and then two bakers i mean no, this is not the bakery the bakery is right here or right, two of them survived which is actually really good Let's see how many bread we have. We only have 36 bread in. So these are the type of food. You see protein, grain, vegetable, fruit, and dairy. Right now we're producing protein. We're producing grain. And we're producing a vegetable and fruit, right? So we, we're producing four type of food. Obviously, we're not producing in a big quantity to support everyone on each individual type of food. For example grain not everyone is gonna get bread just a few households right so so that's something that we need to keep in mind now once we have the barn we're gonna start producing dairy we're gonna start producing milk right and mainly milk and then we move to cheese making but but daily uh, mainly milk so those who don't get bread will get milk right to complete the three food tasks for the for the tier three right all right, so was that enough for the barracks? Let's keep an eye here. Let's take a look. It is not. This is this is actually my worst enemy of the game, to be honest. Uh, it's actually it's actually one of the worst enemies I've ever had in this game. The the slope being too steep, <laughs> to be honest. But it's okay. Uh, we'll we'll get to it. Because sometimes I really, you really want to build something and, and it keeps saying that this, the slope is too steep. The low, and you could flatten it, flatten it, flatten it, and nothing happens. Look at these guys. Look at the... We're going to have some people available here pretty soon, right? At least that's what it looks like. Uh, after many, 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 many attempts to flatten this terrain, I've failed miserably. I've, you know, I've jumped almost, uh, you know, from fall over to <laughs> spring. And, uh, you know... We failed to flatten this terrain enough for to build the barracks. Now, look at look at something I just noticed. I mean, this is actually looks completely not flattened, not flat whatsoever, and it lets me build it here, but not here, which you know, to my eye looks actually a, you know more you know, more straight than that one. So unfortunately, we need not even here. We can actually place it here. And I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Place it somewhere here. I know this was going to be some sort of like desirability. Or another one will be here. But again, it's too steep. Uh, maybe we can place it here to cover the town center rather. And then one thing I really want to do is we probably can place. Or if we decide to go this way, we can place the vault. And uh, what, what I'm talking about vault is we go to storage. The vault is this one right here is where we're going to be storing the money more securely right it's a secure repository instead of keeping it in town center keep it in the trading post we can keep it in the vault right so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna build the barracks here leaving the trading post a little bit uh you know uh you know free of protection but at least we're gonna be protecting a little bit of the town center we're gonna be closer to it so i'm gonna be placing this guy right here in the middle and then I'm not going to place it next to it, or we can actually place it here and leave some room for the vault. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place that guy there. We do have the money for it, so I'm not going to, I'm not too worried about it. But uh, what I'm worried about it is, is, is the weapons. We don't have the weapons to support it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So this guy is actually buying these type of codes. I'm going to sell 50 of those. And I really want 51. That's fine. I'm going to have another person here. The reason why and is because 
I really want stuff to to be transported in a in a ver in a timely and and you know respectful matter. Now, one thing while, while I was trying to flatten that terrain, many things happened. We got uh, a lot of people into the town, which is nice. We have recovered some of the losses. Let's see what the other person is is actually asking. So they're selling the cows. Really nice price for those. Is it time for to have a barn? That could be. That could be. I mean, how much is it? Five hundred. With the money that we're gonna sell, I mean, he's buying pottery as well. Let's go ahead and sell all those pots as well. Uh, he's buying pottery, which is nice. Baskets, I'm not gonna sell to them yet. Uh, two people should be more than enough. Unable to work? Why? You have nothing to to transport? Or what? Oh, you're upgrading to homestead? Oh, you are. Oh, good for you. I'm happy for you. All right, let's go ahead and start filling up the, some of these jobs again. Now, where is the barn? The barn costs a lot, I believe. There it is. No, it doesn't cost that much. We can actually place the barn somewhere here. Now, do keep in mind the desirability. So, now the thing about the barn is that you want to place it in a in a in a way in a area that's actually uh, the fodder bonus, right? That is actually quote unquote fertile. I really don't mind placing that barn over here, to be honest. Somewhere here with the fruit. Or maybe somewhere here, right? Hmm. Now, the thing is that building the farm here is we're going to be losing... No, not the bakery, but rather the, the barn. Uh, Where's the barn? There it is. We're going to be losing some of the, the, the fertility one, right? I know everything here is green. We can place a farm here. So let's go and place this guy over here. And then if we need to expand this guy, we'll expand it that way. Let's place let's place the barn over here. Now the barn is gonna be entered this way. I believe that's the way of the barn, right? Yep. It's gonna do it this way. There you go. It's gonna place the barn there. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to pause the game here. Alright, and then we can actually build a road. I mean, do we need a rope, really? We could. We could build a road around this guy here. But we absolutely don't need a road right now. I mean, the good thing about the road is that we're going to be transporting goods faster. But we don't need it right, right away. Hopefully, nobody has left yet. Let's go ahead and sell all of that. Oh, awesome. Look at the money. And let's go ahead and buy... I'm going to buy two of them. Only two. Because they reproduce themselves. They, you know, they... Obviously, they procreate and whatnot. So, we're going to be buying these two... How uh, cows? Awesome. The first, the first cattle, guys. We've actually sold the first cattle in town. We're gonna sell some of these as well. We're gonna sell 25. Uh, just to recover some of those uh th that money that we just spent in the cattle. What else are they buying? Pelt. I don't mind I don't want to sell pelt. Are you selling? No, they're not selling weapons. Yeah, it's just a matter of wow, they delivered 250 pretty quickly. Wow, phenomenal. <laughs> They're great. All right, let's go and transfer some of that into our main town center. Awesome. Yeah, perfect, guys. So we're going to start building the, the barn. We're going to uh, we're, we're building the barracks. This is the time of where people are going to start need to be trained to be, become soldiers. Now, we don't have the weapons yet, but we can start uh, buying them slowly. Now, one thing we need to do is start filling some of these jobs. Let's take a look at our people. Right now, we have eight plus five builders. So we can actually start adding people, for example, here. The work camp is very, very, very important. Uh, the basket maker, um, you know, the Fletcher. I really want the Fletcher. The soap, I really want that guy. Uh, let's see. So these guys, the work camp is actually cutting all of down here. You can go back over here. Yeah, let's go, go start cutting over here. That's fine. They're going to be removing whatever is in the deer's way, but that's fine. We're having the barn soon. Now, what I, the barn will provide meat, pelt, or, or leather. It's going to provide... Uh, milk as i said and meat because we're going to be slaughtering some of the cows we don't want the cow population to go too bananas to go too crazy because it creates diseases and whatnot now we're going to be becoming farmers ranchers this is going to be again the greater cities the greatest cities of the middle ages we have down we have our downside we were attacked brutally attacked we were massacred but we've recovered and with that I'm going to keep it here, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode. I will see you next time, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.